Hello everybody, today we're going to unbox, take a close-up look and test the BasePal i30 transparent Bluetooth speaker. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. Alright, now let's go ahead and open up the box. Why? lifting the box lid off and that reveals the packaging with the speaker inside of it so there is the speaker set very nicely in its tray so it does have a clear design as you can see let's go ahead and set the speaker to one side first and continue to remove the other contents from the box so right there let's see what we have so we do have some packaging foam so let's put that aside and more packaging foam and let's lift this bottom card out set that to one side and I can see that there is a user manual, we can go ahead and put that down as well. And continue to remove the rest of the contents, so some cables. And that's everything from the box taken out. Okay, now let's set the contents from the box neatly on the tabletop so you can see clearly what's been removed from it or what's included with the speaker. So that is the BasePal i30 transparent Bluetooth speaker with the user manual and two cables. So let's start off by first taking a quick look at the user manual. So user manual right here and just showing you the safety note as well as the functions of the Bluetooth speaker. And on the reverse side, you can see that there's more product detail or information. So there's a troubleshooting section, a technical parameters section, and of course the product graphic right there. So that's the user manual covered. Let's set it down to one side then and move on to the next item. So it does come with a micro USB charging cable. Okay, let's set that down as well. And of course, right here, there is a double-ended 3.5 millimeter audio cable or aux cable for direct connection from a music playback device straight into the speaker without having to use any kind of wireless technology such as Bluetooth that the speaker comes with. And now with the speaker in my hand right here, you can see quite clearly, it does have a nice, solid, thick plastic design or acrylic design. Um, let's see if I can kind of rejig these cables in the background so that it doesn't get in the way of the speaker in the foreground. I guess that's the best I can do uh, while trying to include them in the frame. Okay, so very simply speaker in hand right here weight wise it does have a nice solid weight to it as you can see uh, earlier on or just then the thickness of the casing or housing see how thick that is which is quite nice to see so they've spared no expense there in terms of kind of acoustic design And on the underside, 
of the speaker right there and a nice close up there okay so it does have two soft pads there with protective stickers still in place of course um, nice to see that they are actually protective stickers many times most companies don't bother with them i mean it's not completely necessary but it's an interesting touch to see that they've really haven't spared any expense when it comes to um the packaging of the speaker so as you can see right here some control buttons there for mode plus minus so i'll take it volume up volume down or previous and next tracks or next and previous tracks and you can see that there is an acoustic kind of duct here and in the middle of course there is a aux in for the 3.5 millimeter audio aux in cable a sd card or micro sd card slot for direct playback as well and a micro usb slot or port right there to charge the speaker back up uh, should it run low on power so once again a look around the speaker and the front panel there is a multifunctional on off button right there so speaker in hand or in both hands giving you a look at the various angles and you can see the two speakers in the housing really nice to see right there so it's nice to have a skeleton view of uh, products sometimes and of course at the very top you can see the base pal branding so weight wise like i said nice substantial weight to it and let's press the buttons just to check them out uh, very quickly just quickly lightly pressing on the buttons just to hear what kind of response they have so with the mode plus and minus right there so rear view once again course let's take a look at the mesh so it is uh, quite cool to the touch it is of metal design or material so there we go a nice overall look in close-up detail as well of the bass pal speaker okay so let me just set it down right there so you can see without any interference with my hands being in the way okay set it down this way as well alrighty now let's try and turn it on of course I haven't read the uh, user manual even though we did kind of flip through it very quickly let's press and hold on the power button right there and you can see that it is flashing and there are actually LEDs, as you can see, which produce a very nice blue glow. And you can see how it kind of illuminates the rim of the housing as well. Now let's press and hold it to turn it off, I believe. So it's pretty standard in terms of uh, functionality when it comes to these products. Let's press and hold and keep it down. That might go into pairing mode perhaps if I hold it long enough nope it just turns completely off so now let's try that again turn it on pressing it and holding okay and set it down and let's bring my trusty old Sony Xperia Z5 compact with the Blings TPU case both of which I have reviewed the case as well as the phone um, in much earlier videos my channel if you've been following me long enough you'd be aware now let's 
unlock it and see if we can pair or locate the BasePal i30 transparent Bluetooth speaker. Okay, it has found a few items and you can see right there, the i30 is listed at the very top. So let's go ahead and tap on that to pair. And you can hear that chime coming from the speaker itself and the LED on the power button has stopped flashing. So we have successfully paired, which is quite nice to see. Now let's play some trending music on the YouTube app. So let's go ahead and tap on this one. And let me lower the volume. And straight away I can hear that it does have a very, very deep bass. And let me bring it up close. So the clarity is pretty amazing as well. Does have a very nice deep bass. Excuse the language. And let's press on the minus to bring the volume down. And right there, it's come all the way down and it silenced the audio. And you might be able to see on my phone lying on the Tabletop there. The volume slider responding with. Responding to the button presses of the volume, so. Quite nice in terms of clarity and bass with a nice, nice tone as well. So overall, extremely well sounding. And I have to be mindful as that of the music playback as well, because if I play too much, it might get detected and muted. So I have to be very, very mindful. And I'll try and talk as well while I'm playing the music, unfortunately, um, just so it doesn't get um, detected that easily. Okay, and let's see if we can forward it a bit more and try a different track as well. So let's go ahead and try something else. And let's raise the volume through the phone this time. And it's really impressive, the volume, the loudness, as well as the clarity, tone, and bass as well. I mean, look at that. I'm not even anywhere close in terms of volume on my phone, yet it is amazingly loud already. So I have to be careful not to play too loud. But just so you're aware, and gives you some kind of indication of the performance of these speakers right there. So that's the BassPal i30 transparent Bluetooth speaker. Thanks for watching and happy listening.